So in this video, we're gonna go over exporting your media from Holoplay Studio so that you can share uh, to other people. You might be asking, hey, why do you need to export when you can just send the media file, the quilt, the iPhone portrait mode photo, etc. Why do you need to do that when you can just send the actual content to your friends and family with looking glass portraits? That's a really good question and you can just do that. But the really cool thing about a .hop file is that it saves the edits that you made in Holoplay Studio. So if you bring in a, an Android or portrait mode photo and you make some really cool edits that really bring out the depth in an awesome way and you wanna send it to your friend in the way that you just edited it, then you can export using Holoplay Studio and send them the .hop file that is exported from this app. And I'm gonna show you how to do that. So exporting is really cool when it comes to mobile depth photos and light field photo sets and RGBD images and video. It's not as important when it comes to quilts because you can't really adjust the depthiness of a quilt like you can the other file types. Like in light field photo sets, you can still adjust the focus but you can still frame and crop your quilts in an interesting way and send those edits to someone with Holoplay Studio for them to see what you've created. But yeah, let's say that you have a grandfather that has Holoplay Studio and a looking glass portrait and he really loves pocket watches. So you wanna frame this light field photo set of a pen knife and just crop in on the compass and send that to your grandfather. So we're gonna make that framing, right click and hit export. And then we're gonna create a folder called exports in our Holoplay Studio folder and which should be in your documents just to keep it, keep it nice and organized. And then it should successfully save. And then you can go check your in your file explorer on where it's saved and you'll see that it says penknife.hop, which is the, the file format that's exported from Holoplay Studio. This is a really quick video because exporting is super easy and it's really exciting because now anyone that's watching this is gonna have to send me their .hop file so I can see all the cool stuff that they're making in Holoplay Studio. It's a promise, right? Right. In fact, I sent over this hot file that I just exported for you all to Brian. So let's see what happened. Hey guys, this is Brian from Looking Glass. And what we're gonna do here is import the hologram Missy just sent us. So I've got my pen knife hop file right here that she sent me over Slack. And we're just gonna click and drag it into Holoplay Studio. Now, when you do that, it's just gonna say hop, right? So drop it like it's hop, just like we just did and you'll just be able to go ahead and import it. Everything else will be handled for you, which is really nice. And you'll see here in my looking glass that we actually get the light field that she sent over and the focus is automatically set properly. The If she had reversed the view order, that would have also been set. So hop files are really great for sharing content and having the exact settings you want installed. And if you want to know more about that really cool artwork we just looked at right here beforehand, check out our Discord server. There's so many cool artists on there. This is by Martin. He is excellent. So cool. I mean, look at this. So much fun. Looking forward to see you guys there. All right, that wraps up the tutorial on exporting in Holoplay Studio. And next up is syncing to your device so that it can run in standalone bone. Don't forget to like and subscribe.